Okay, back again. It's amazing how where I live we can have a heat wave and then storms within the same day. We've just had a torrential downpour a few hours ago, it's already dried up again. There's some puddles left over there. But um uh, just a quick little video today. Uh I got a couple of questions I'd like to ask. Uh, first of all, if anyone has any photos or video of the hinge assembly that's on the inside of the safari windows, so when they sit up there, uh, there's a there's a hinge. I, I want to know exactly what it looks like. I know there's all kinds of hinges and I think it's like a an uh, it's got like angles so it's not like a straight door hinge where the, the cuts are um, parallel um, I don't have anything to work with so I was thinking of making it but if if I can't find uh, anything uh, photo wise or video wise I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and buy them I don't really want to buy them but uh, you know that sort of thing I think is worth spending the money on um, I'm gonna make all of this stuff but uh, as far as the top part there goes that's sort of got to be right but if anyone's got a video they can link me to or maybe um, a, uh, a photo or something or some measurements that'd be great because I'll be able to work from that um, or you know maybe look at it and go that's too hard for me to do or that's going to take too much time also uh, I don't have any of the bottom part of this front nose skin and I've got a feeling this I'll just sit down here um, I've got a feeling this section here is too high I think I've made this wider than it should have been so I might have to put a blanking plate over this um, and then bring this down further and then make a new plate that comes out for it to attach to. Um, if anyone's got any measurements from say for instance that point down and I'm looking for the bottom of this panel so where this panel goes down to from from the bottom edge of that lip <coughs> uh, or even, yeah, I'm just trying to think where another good spot is. I don't really have any other reference points here. I don't have anything there. And these probably changed. I'm not too sure. Um, this is a split window. Very early. It's basically half barn door, half split screen. It's got the semaphores on the side that open up. It doesn't have indicators. So uh, these probably change, the stamping probably change. Um, I don't want to take a measure, I could probably take a measurement from that lip up there, down, because I want to make sure I get this right. And I know you can buy this, but uh, this repair section, but that's about, you know, $200, $250 Australian, that's a lot of money. So I'd much rather save that money that I don't have to spend and not spend it on something else <laughs> um, but I think my best bet would be to go from here down if anyone could possibly help me out and give me a measurement from this down to the bottom of it um, and I'm not sure what happens to it if it's a pinch if it's a pinch that comes out because I haven't even built this bottom section yet but and then yeah I'll try and organize that it just looks like this is going to hit that 
So this can come out. But uh, yeah, I'll need even a rough guesstimate from from uh, yeah, I don't really want to ask for that because I think it's going to be different and there'll be badges on it. But anyway, that down would be great. That'll get me that'll get me rolling anyway because I can't really weld in this in this weather. It it affects the welding too much for me anyway. I'm not a good welder. I just sort of barely get by, and um, and I've only got a really really average average at best welder so um yeah I mean I got I got away with it yesterday it's a bit rough but I'm still gonna take this door this this no skin off and panel panel hammer behind it and even it up a bit it's got a bit of a high spot just here and uh, what I'll do there is I'll actually bring this out and it'll drop that one down I'd say and there's another one up here but I'm not that concerned right now um, I've got a bit of work to go under here I've just noticed I might just rust kill that and then um, silicon around it ah uh, the windshield urethane I'll just run a bead around there I think that'll save me about three days worth of work but yeah, if, if someone can help me out with that, just a quick measurement, just to give me the bottom of this plate of this nose skin, and that'll give me a reference point to start working from, because I really have nothing here at all, and the photos that I got from the vehicle were basically uh, no use to me whatsoever, and also the hinge that runs on that even if you just get a photo of it in situ opened and sort of an undercarriage photo I not it doesn't really matter but I think that's something that I'll have to buy but yeah anyway um, as I said no work really done today one of those days uh, yeah I can't really report or anything else anyway have a good one and you guys are probably just getting up now. I'm not too sure. Okay. See you on the next one.